I get a lot of requests to comment on modern news events. I'm going to do that today on Pastor Bob Daily. Well, some people are glued to the television and they watch all of the news programs and they read the newspaper and they keep up on everything. And, you know, a lot of people say, aren't you concerned? Don't you know that this is going on and this is going on? And did you see this on the news and that on the news? And their whole life is consumed by, well, many times fear. What do you do about that? And should I be watching all of that too? And should I be more informed than I am? Well, you know, folks, I think we have an obsession these days. You know, there's never been a time in our history where we've been more informed and more afraid. And it used to be that when news happened, it took you weeks to find out. And it's kind of nice to be able to know things a little sooner. But, you know, what about this obsession with news that a lot of people have? You know, where you, you're just watching it and listening to it and reading it constantly and it consumes your time those people that are walking around in fear because at any time we could be under attack we could this could happen that could happen and they are always appalled by all the things that are happening what do you do well I'll tell you what I do I turn it off you see pastor Bob how can you be informed if you don't watch the news I read the news in the mornings for maybe 30 minutes and that's it uh, then I'm done I get the synopsis I'm careful where I read it from because I know that most news is sensationalized and then I'm done you know folks we live in a world where news has become just that sensational it's one news media competing with another and seeing who can have the most sensational stories and who can, <clears throat> excuse me, hook you the most in watching their news programs. So what do you do with it? Well, mostly you turn it off. There are other things going on. And can I remind you that Jesus said there will always be wars and rumors of wars? He said there will always be things going on in the world around you that concern you and that, uh, that will cause you to be afraid. But but he says, don't, don't lose heart. He said, I've overcome the world. I've overcome the world. He did it on the cross. And if you're a Christian today, folks, it's good to be informed about what's going on, but it shouldn't take the majority of your time. There are a lot more important things that should. And it's good to be informed, but it's not good to be over-informed. It's not good to be over-stimulated by the news. It's not good to believe everything you hear and, and to receive all the sensationalism that's going on with it as well. That's a problem. And a lot of people suffer from it. They're in fear and anxiety all the time because of what the news media produces. And also the news media generally is very one-sided, usually. They say they have fair reporting, but everybody's got a bias. So, folks, my suggestion is get on with life. Live your life. Spend a little bit of time reading about what's going on and then go out and change the world. Change the world. That's what God asked us to do. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel and do it in my name and do it and, and preach it as good news, the gospel, and invite people to come. That's the greatest thing in the world, and we have an opportunity to bring good news and not frustrating news. God bless you. Have a great day.